Also, Becky, I love you as a ginger. <laughs> Thanks. Had to match my dog. Had to match my dog. <laughs> my dog had better hair than me. I couldn't allow that. Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey and I'm from the Sorry Girls and today I'm going to be showing you how to upcycle an IKEA product into two really cute and affordable floating drawer nightstands. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll jump right into the tutorial. You guys know the really popular of Calyx products at Ikea. It's all those cubes. Now this is an accessory that you can add into the cubes to add drawers to your Calyx, which is a pretty cool idea. Now this is only $20 at Ikea and we are going to be using the hardware in the drawers as part of our nightstand drawers. And all we really need to do is build the box around it. So I went ahead and assembled this and we're gonna use most of it as is, but we do need to alter some things. So I'm gonna take out these drawers. And my first step is to actually cut this cardboard frame in half because this is going to sit into the uh, box that I'm building. So I cut it in half, which means that I cut it to um, six inches and nine sixteenths. I just used an X-Acto knife and a ruler and I went over the same spot a couple times and it cut. It was pretty easy to do. Now that I have my drawers built with the tracks, I'm going to move on to building the outer box that this is all gonna go into. Okay. So to do this, we picked up some white laminate shelving. This matches the drawers perfectly. This is 5 eighths of an inch thick, 15 and 3 quarters wide, and 72 inches long. So, we're gonna get to sawing now. So using my circular saw at a 45 degree angle, I was able to cut out all of my pieces. We have two 13 inch and 1 8 pieces and two 6 and 6 8 pieces. And when I say these measurements, I'm talking about the, like the inside measurement. The outside measurement kind of just ends up being however thick your wood is, just the angle. So this will all fold up together like a box, kind of like so. But because we're going to be mounting this to the wall, I'm going to be using some heavy duty L brackets here. So I'm gonna add two of these to one of my thick 13 inch pieces. I wanna make sure that I'm doing it at the back, which means that it's not on the side that has the nice um, white on the front. And I can just go ahead and install those with some screws. So do that twice on one of your 13 and 1 8 pieces, and then attach the bracket once in the middle at the back of your 13 by 1 8 piece. So now I have something that looks like this, and this is kind of how it's gonna look when it goes onto our wall, and we're gonna attach it to the wall with these holes here. So next we're going to add wood glue to the edges of all of our pieces that are going to be touching, and form it into the box and let it dry. I also went in on the inside with my wood glue just to fill in those gaps. And once that's all dried, it only takes about 25 minutes, I'm going to add some furniture braces to the inside to keep the whole box together, although the wood glue is very sturdy. I'm gonna do this about one inch in from the front so that my drawer can still slide in and out. And then the back should be pretty good as far as stability because this is where it's gonna be attached to the wall. So we just wanna secure the front. So my next step, I'm going to take off all of the tape here. And then although we all did an amazing cutting job and it's gonna line up perfectly, there might be some areas where you just kind of wanna like fill the tiniest little gap. So we got some wood filler, but we got it in white, so it's gonna match perfectly. And we can just fill any kind of like dark lines that you see from the outside. We're almost there. I think our box is, our box is done. The box is complete. So now we're going to move on to our cardboard piece. Since we added the furniture braces on the inside and the L brackets at the back, we kind of need to cut out some notches so that this cardboard fits in perfectly and snug. So we're just going to measure that out, use the X-Acto knife and cut out some notches. And when we go to mount it, we're going to be using a drill from the inside of the box to screw into the wall. 
We're just going to drill some holes in the back of our cardboard so that it's easy to see where the L brackets are and we can easily install it. And then just using the holes that come with the cardboard and the screws that come with the IKEA kit, we just screwed in the cardboard to the box on the sides. We did this 5 eighths of an inch back from the front so that when you put in your drawer, it fits flush. JK. And then to install it, you're gonna to wanna to take out your drawer, use some really strong screws, <laughs> use some really strong screws, drywall plugs, all of that jazz. And then to install it, you're gonna to wanna to go straight through the L brackets at the back into the wall, and then you should have a nice, sturdy, floating nightstand. Like, that's so good. Like, that's not going anywhere. Wow. Yeah. We did a thing. Yay. Yay. Draw me. Draw me. Draw me. The white down. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yes. Woo! mentioned that we did this whole thing twice to make two since the um, calyx insert comes with two drawers we made two nightstands obviously and if you guys spotted that headboard we actually styled this in Letitia's room for her room makeover where we made her a headboard we made her these side tables so make sure you check out the link below to see how we made the headboard and also our collab that we did with Letitia Overall, I'm super impressed guys we just made an IKEA product it looks exactly like it's from IKEA I mean well Half of it's from Ikea, but overall, it looks like you could buy it at Ikea. I'm gonna call it the night, no, the Fristanden. And I'm going to Sweden soon, so maybe I'll just like pitch it to them. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you liked this Ikea upcycle, make sure you give this video a like. And if you loved it, make sure that you give it a sub, and we will see you in our next video.